Every day I become more and more convinced that we're all just characters living in a sitcom that some aliens are watching for their own entertainment. Because have you guys noticed that like every year the world just gets stranger and stranger? Um, today I'm going to be breaking down one of the strangest and goofiest internet beefs I have ever seen. And it is between none other than Andrew Tate and Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg is a climate change activist um, that is kind of annoying. And Andrew Tate is a rich guy that enjoys pissing people off. So right off the bat, the stage is set for a really funny interaction. So it all started, and this is a Twitter beef, by the way. It, it, there's no IRL stuff. It's just Twitter, uh, which makes it even funnier. Um, so it all started when unprovoked, out of nowhere, Andrew Tate decided to make a banger tweet. Um, he said, hello at Greta Thunberg. I have 33 cars. My Bugatti has a W16 8 liter quad turbo. My two Ferrari 812 Compositions have 6.5 V12s. I know nothing about cars, so I don't know what this means. But he says, this is just the start. Please provide your email address so I can send a complete list of my car collection and their respective enormous emissions. So out of nowhere, he decided to at a climate change activist so he could tell her how many carbon emissions he's making, which is one of the strangest flexes I've ever heard. But, you know, OK, this is the start of it. Let's see how Greta responded. She said, yes, please do enlighten me. Email me at smalldickenergy at getalife.com. An ambassador, a diplomat said small dick energy as a phrase. We are living in a simulation. There is no way any of this is real. I don't get what's going on. Um, also, for her to say that her own email is small dick energy is a little strange, but I, I don't know. Maybe the, the point is there. She's saying he has small dick energy um, for tweeting at this. And then Andrew, his response, rather than tweeting again, he decided to make a two minute response video to her saying something about small dick energy. So I'm not gonna play all two minutes because I, I, I just don't want to, but I'm gonna play the beginning so you can get kind of an idea of what his response was. Okay, smoking a cigar, great. Release some greenhouse gases. Okay, sure. Why does he keep flexing that he's destroying I'm the environment? He's a stranger to online controversy. It's not something I often do. Yeah. But now, the mainstream press is commenting on the fact that I was informing Greta that my very extensive car collection with internal combustion engines, which run on dead dinosaurs, have an enormous emission. But why? Why would you brag about that? And she replied by telling me her own email address. Mm -hmm. Greta's email address is, I have small dick energy. Why would that be your own email address? That's what I said. Strange. I mean, also I don't want to assume her gender. It's 50-50, but it is what it is. I'm not actually mad at Greta. Please I'm bring the sure. pizza and uh, make sure that these boxes are not recycled. Thank you. So I'm actually mad at Greta, right? Because she doesn't realize she's been programmed. She doesn't realize she's a slave of the matrix. Sure, she sure. Thinks she's doing good. Someone has sat her down and convinced her to try and convince you to beg your government to tax you into poverty to stop the sun from being hot. I, 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 can't, I can't take this seriously. I, I genuinely can't. This, this, is, this is the strangest thing I have ever seen. These are two people that have um, gone viral, not because of their hard work, not because of their accomplishments. They have gone viral for saying controversial statements. And whenever so, somebody becomes famous for saying a controversial statement, it, it's, it's bound to have just strange things happen. As much as I want to give my real opinion on this situation and like who's in the right, who's in the wrong, this is just stupid. This is genuinely one of the stupidest beefs ever. I don't know, I, I don't know what the angle of either of them is here. Um, for, first off, I'll, I'll try to give my opinion here. Um, uh, let, let's talk about Andrew's side first. Um, I, I don't think you, regardless of your opinion on climate change, I don't think you should be bragging about how many emissions you're creating. Uh, I, I just, I don't think that's a flex in any kind of way. Um, I, 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 listen, I respect the hating. Like literally out of nowhere, he decided to just 
go after her for no reason for clout obviously i mean if he was doing this for clout a plus andrew tate because i i think his response tweet has 18 million views on twitter right now which is unbelievable um the greta side i she could have destroyed him easily um she could have said something like you're a grown man beefing with a 19 year old bragging about your carbon emissions what's wrong with you and she would have destroyed him but instead she just said small dick energy so i thought that was a pretty horrendous response so um you guys can let me know your thoughts on who won this debate um in my opinion we all lost because this is just one of the stupidest things i've ever seen uh but if you guys have a different opinion want to inform me on it please do but this is all just this is unbelievable how this is a like this isn't a mini beef this has 18 million views mainstream media is talking about this like there are news articles about it and it's just so unbelievably stupid um, so that, that's all I have in, input wise. I can't take this seriously because of how dumb it is, but it is kind of funny to watch. Um, but with that being said, I am going to, uh, leave this video here. Please inform me your thoughts because I'm curious what you guys think about it. But with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Orange peanut wants you to subscribe because he needs more money.